Hi, my name is Kholisa Nindrovu and I am a student from Midland State University, studied food science and nutrition. Um, I took a keen interest in the food labs because I am interested in the intake and uptake of indigenous foods in societies, especially in the upcoming generation. So the change labs really helped me open my mind to how food systems work and how people work within the food systems. It, I got an appreciation of Jairus Jiri, the association, and how they have managed to create an ecosystem of their own food system and how that has affected their diets. So I got to understand that um, we all come from different backgrounds and things like upbringing and things like the economical structures and yeah, affordability, availability and accessibility really, really affect our diets, what we eat, when we eat it, how we eat it. And yeah. That's what I got to understand about the food labs and our food systems. What I would tell, what I would like the young people to look at right now is to look at what we're eating and not really be influenced by social media and other influencers who are influencing different foods. To actually look at what we as Zimbabweans have to offer the world and start really curating the change that we want to see and really bringing out what Zimbabwe has to offer the world and incorporating our indigenous foods into our daily meals as well as appreciating that we have a tradition and and that indigenous food is still food but also appreciating that there are other foods that we have incorporated into our diets that are still important. So yeah, that's what I would like to tell the young people. My name is Arnold Moyo. I'm a marketing postgraduate student. I'm happy to be a part of this food lab. I'm here because I'm interested in healthy food and a healthy lifestyle. You know, um, food as medicine. It's actually one of my research interests that I'm doing, um, that I'm basing my postgraduate studies on. Um, I'm investigating um, factors affecting consumer purchase intentions towards the towards uh, traditional small grain foods in Zimbabwe. So it's a, it's a Zimbabwean-based study, even though I'm studying with an institution outside the country. Um, it's been very exciting uh, being part of uh, the food labs. Um, I've learned a lot. The, the my participation in the food labs has benefited my studies because I've come across. Uh, information that will be useful, that I'll be utilizing in my studies, that I'll be citing in my works. Um, but uh, the benefits have not just been limited to my studies. I've also met people that are active in the uh, food system, uh, food network uh, ecosystem. Um, people that are doing great things and changing the future uh, for the world. And I'm happy to be meeting those people and seeing in, in real time the changes that are happening, but most importantly participating in the transformation that's taking place. Um, I've, I've learned even at a personal level, you know, we've had uh, visits to different sites, uh, to manufacturing companies, to markets, um, you know, and I've realized that my knowledge of healthy food alternatives is uh, healthy food options, sorry, is actually limited and uh, I need to go out there and learn a lot. Um, and, and I've also appreciated the value of bringing people together in a food lab uh, setup. You know, we all know different things and the little we know, we also know in part. So when we come together uh, on a, uh, through a platform like the food labs, it's amazing the kind of information that comes together and how that information com complements each other. Uh, to produce something more useful. So it, it has really been a, a, a creative process, uh, uh, something that could only happen uh, when people are brought together and everybody's contributing his bit of information, his bit of value to this uh, creative process that's bringing out something that's amazing and I'm happy to be a part of. So it's, it's, 
you know, this has changed me. Uh, one of the things we learned is uh, listening, the art of listening. Um, you know, I've previously just downloaded or just had a, an objective kind of listening ear, but uh, listening goes deeper than that, and that has changed me. Um, I think I'm going to be listening more, and also having seen the kind of contributions that have come from ordinary people to form something that's amazing. Um, I no longer take anyone for granted. Everybody has a valuable contribution to make. Together, we can change the world. We can, we can, we can change um, uh, the situation we find in, uh, including the the health status, uh, you know, in in the public interest. So this is a, a very good initiative to be a part of, and I would encourage every young person to seize the opportunity and jump on the bandwagon when they hear about this. So the program so far um, has been piloted in, in Blaue and Darare. I'm, I'm optimistic that it will be spreading to the rest of the country and I'm encouraging young people from all walks of life, never mind your qualifications, um, never mind uh, your background, uh, just come and uh, share a platform with your, with your peers and you learn a lot in the process, you develop personally, but you also contribute to a, a transformation that the world needs. You, you become the change that the world needs to see. Um, so I really want to um, thank HIVOS um, who have uh, put this program together. It's such a, a fantastic program and I'm so grateful to be a part of it. Thank you so much for the opportunity.